In focus four, we're going to learn how to set up the function block diagram so we can add that type of programming to our controls project. Before setting up the function block diagram, we're going to need to know where the plant PAX library is located. That's the Rockwell Automation library that uses simplified programming and function block diagrams. So in Controls Lab, that's located on the C drive in the Turbine Technologies folder. We will see the library of process objects. That is the Plant PAX library, and the files are all contained within those folders. So to add an add-on instruction to our Controls project, we need to go down to this Add-on Instructions folder and right click and select import add-on instructions. When we select import we're going to need to find the folder in this case it remembered where I found it last but if you need to find it you can just go to C Turbine Technologies Library of Process Objects Files and then the main folder is Process Objects Library and of course process add-on instructions. So to start out we are going to use the analog input process object. So select this P underscore A in and then 3-1-02 is the revision. Go ahead and select open. It's going to prepare to import the parameters for the instruction and basically here it's telling us what it's going to import and set up and I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. It will perform the import and it's bringing in not only P underscore analog in but any side add-on instructions that this process might call upon during the specific programming. So we know that P analog in also has the alarm add-on, the gate add-on, and the mode add-on, which is the user um, parameter switching between operator and program mode within the HMI itself. So all four of these add-on instructions are needed just to use this first add-on instruction. So I'm going to minimize those and leave P underscore analog in maximized. Next, we can go to our subroutine by double clicking the subroutine that we created earlier. And now, if we navigate to our add-on tab, we will see our new add-on instructions up here. So these function block diagrams can be added into our subroutine, which is a function block diagram subroutine. So these add-on instructions have function blocks contained within that data. So we are going to select P underscore analog in. That brings in the analog input for our controls project. Now we need to go ahead and set up that module. So the first thing we have to do is change the tag name. So we are going to call this P underscore analog in and laser. As soon as we hit enter it's going to show an error with that because it doesn't recognize the tag that it had created for the function block diagram. If we look at parameters and local tags, it's looking for that 0, 1. Of course, we just changed that, so now it can no longer find it, and that's where the problem is. So I'm just going to delete that tag go back to the subroutine now we we need a new tag P underscore analog in laser and we want that new tag to be in the scope of 
my controls project instead of main program. That will make sure that the tag resides on the controller instead of in the main program for the project. So once we select create, we will have a new tag under controller tags for p underscore analog in underscore laser. And now that tag for that specific action is stored on the controller where we want it to be. Now that we have that all set up, I'm just going to move through the curriculum here. We did all that. Now we want to add input and output values to our function block diagram. So if, to add input and output references, we, we can just go ahead and click these two buttons up here in the control panel. We can wire the input to the input PV for the analog module and the output value we are also going to output that to a tag value so we can monitor that tag when we start programming the uh, factory talk view software when we want to have the HMI environment watching that specific variable. So the first thing we need to do is map the proper channel for the input tag. And we know that we're looking for expansion module 1, which is actually on channel 2 of the controller. So we're going to be looking for um, local 2 input. Local 2 is that expansion module, that analog input laser. And we want channel 0 data because the laser sensor is being put into channel 0 for the controller. So we'll select local 2 input channel 0 data and just click off of the target in here and that will automatically map that channel. And then we also want to set up a new tag for the output height of the laser so we can go ahead and select our output reference and select new tag and we're going to call that tag output underscore height so that's our output height reference for the laser well we want the data to be real in this case and then again we want it in the scope of my new project so that should all be okay. We go ahead and click on that to create our output height tag reference that we will use when we set up the HMI interface with Factory Talk View. So now we have our whole function block diagram set up for our analog input for our laser. And we can verify that routine if we want zero errors, zero warnings, so that part of the routine is all set up and programmed.